waiting for a guest to arrive um it's late so i'm gonna film a video i'm ready you know how it is the struggle is real when you are a feminine coach you always need to look top because you ladies you call me out if i look raggedy so i need to look always good it's not like you know other youtubers where they can just show up however they like i always tend to look good i try to look good for you ladies so yes today i have this doo -doo. And the titties are real, yes. Some people have asked me, uh, did you get your titties done? No, they automatically look bigger because I got my liposuction. So <laughs> just to clear the hair until I put it up there. Like, yeah, they're real, booty real, everything real. It's just God giving gifts. It was just like extra that needed to go for this to pop you know what i'm saying girl but yeah i don't know how this video is gonna be like i don't even know the topic i'm just going to talk to you ladies i think i want to talk to you about um some of you ladies have asked me about how you feeling with your new body i want to give you a little bit of updates i think it's already almost like okay i did april 15 my surgery was april 15 april month so so almost four months post surgery i gotta say um i feel much more like the my true self uh i feel like i reborn like honestly i feel like you know what i, I feel so much more confident i feel much more uh, at ease with a certain part of my body like which was my belly and my back um to be honest like i said in my opinion it didn't hurt it was worth it i don't necessarily support plastic surgery in my case i have to say it was worth it and um it's not like i promote plastic surgery because some people don't really need it like i feel like if you feel good with yourself if you you can fix it with the gym just go do it in my case it was more of an or hormonal situation where it was really really hard for me like i was hitting the gym really hard and if you have watched my previous videos i'm sure you you know that i've, I've been telling you this for i don't know many videos ago in every video where i speak about liposuction i've been telling you i told you about my polycystic ovary syndrome where it was really really hard for me to shed this type of weight and also i gotta say that i come from a, a from europe i come from milan italy and in europe our food is fresh no shade to america but everybody knows that here the food is crap they put a lot of stuff in it or hormones and ever since i moved to the united states because i was like skinny in italy it was easier for me to to just lose weight and here it was just a struggle and i attribute that to maybe aging i don't know because i and also to the food and especially to the food because i remember when i moved here like I, I just felt this transition. I felt like really strange. I felt heavy. I felt my body didn't like what I was giving. <laughs> I mean, my body was just really mad at me because I was always bloated. The first months that I moved to the United States, I, I wasn't feeling like myself no matter what I was eating. Even if I wasn't eating at all, like I was feeling bloated. But yeah. I have to say that I feel much more confident and I feel like my true self, I feel like I finally am the type of woman I want to, like sexy, you know, I have that sexy figure and I look natural so people don't even notice, but I do have to say that it is addictive, I mean, it is addictive, I feel like now I want to get something else and you know it takes maintenance and um, i notice also that when you drink or you eat something like you just tend to swell immediately right and also i have to say to me the fara the boards are not that uncomfortable but um i notice that when i remove them i look like i, I really look perfect and then your skin starts to like i feel like it just it's just a weird feeling i don't even know how to explain this but you start to expand a little bit it's almost like you're compressed you have to compress you have to use your faha you have to use your boards and you have to use your foams right 
for the following forever i guess i don't know i don't even know when some people that had uh, has had a liposuction yeah they still use that they still use the faja you know so yeah i noticed that you you just expand like it's just weird because when you have the massage the massages and you look like super fit it's almost like you know they they design you I, I didn't i don't even know how to explain this but i do like myself it was worth it so if you're thinking about doing it do it girl like just do it right now because i mean to me it was i don't know why i waited so long i think i feel much much better more comfortable with my body with my figure i feel sexier not that i was that i wasn't feeling sexy before but i've always had that Thing that I, if, if I had a little bit more of curves that I will look like I wanted to you know but like I said um, it could be addictive I, I'm gonna lie to you to me I'm like I think I am kind of addicted to beauty products and beauty stuff I've always wanted to be better 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 and I think I look better than even if you go back in time and if you go back to my first video you can see how I change right like I'm the type of person that likes to improve herself a lot but the thing is I like to do tasteful thing I'm never like the type of person that goes to a cheap doctor no matter what because just because I want something done no no that's not me at all I'm a natural type of woman like I like things little tweak here and there that look tasteful does look uh tacky gross natural is the best way in my opinion if you gotta um, do plastic surgery do it in a tasteful way i think i'm going to share with you some pictures before and after <laughs> um i mean to me it was pretty smooth the journey was not as rough as i hear some other ladies i mean i didn't know that i had such a high pain tolerance i i just had liposuction lipo 360 um by the way for those who, who are watching this video and haven't watched the other videos go go check them out i actually vlogged the entire process and it was pretty smooth to me i had people helping me i had private care coming to my house and my friend bernie helping me so i was just pretty lucky i gotta say no complications the only thing that i gotta say is be really careful not to sit in this position for example like i i sit like this right and i had my board that could really cause permanent like 
marks on your stomach and folds. And that's what I got a little bit of, a, a little full because I was just like, I didn't know that, you know what I mean? So I was just sitting on the couch and um, I was studying, right? And I noticed that I have a little full, but also I think I had a lot of belly. I mean, compared to now, now I don't have as much. And I feel like the skin is not as, as I wish doesn't stick as, as I wish. I don't know if it's, it's excess skin because over here I have a little bit more fluffiness, I'll say, than now. So I feel like I had some bump, a bump here, but maybe it's me being too much. Like the massage goes say, you know, you look good. Like I don't see it, but I'm like a perfectionist. So, um, and she touched it and she's like, this is not water, this is not fluid, this is skin. I'm probably going to do carboxy. Which she told me helps a lot with, you know, to, to get the skin tight again. And um, the rest is fine. I don't have any problem. Like the back is fine my stomach is fine um it's just that area on top of my belly button that it's just kind of bother me but beside that i'm fine and there are different options actually in case you are having the, and experiencing the same problem you can um do carboxy which i heard it hurts like hell but once i'm gonna do it i'm gonna tell you if it's true that hurts like hell my massage girl told me that you see the devil you see you go to hell and come back i don't know that because i haven't had it yet so if that let's say doesn't doesn't work my doctor told me that i can just put some j plasma because yes he did put j plasma and it was really really tight at first and then it started loosening up but there is this option so i don't think i will need any tummy tuck because i i didn't have that big of a belly come on now i was like good it's not that much but enough skin you know that i think this part of my my body was like the skin is not as tight it, it was like a different type of skin i don't know more stretched because i never really had a flat flat stomach never ever maybe i just always had a little pooch you know but anyways thank you so much for watching ladies i see you in my next video don't forget to subscribe share like and do all these things that are gonna help my channel grow